Hey guys, welcome to Search Show 24-7, and today is Superhero Movie Sunday, and today we will be reviewing uh, two um, movies, two superhero movies, because it's a library of superhero movies, so each Sunday I'm going to have to give you at least two of them just to speed everything through, and we will be reviewing the Batman movies first, because as you know, I am in love with Batman, yes I am, I said it, I, yeah, I am, so don't judge me. All right, Tim Burton's 1989 Batman, starring Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson. Basically, as a child billionaire, Bruce Wayne uh, finds his uh, parents murdered, or sees his parents murdered. Uh, he basically uh, uh, wants to avenge their death. And the only, do, the only way to do that is become a fight-ass kicker, motherfucking Black Knight, Dark Knight, all up in your face. Uh, you are a disgrace. Oh, Chihuahua, Chihuahua, I can't believe it's not butter. Crime fighting machine known as Batman. Uh, okay, so Bruce Wayne, uh, now I'm sorry, Bruce Wayne, he meets this uh, this lady, uh, this reporter named Vicky Vale. Vicky Vale is this hot reporter who's just stunning, and they kind of have like a little thing going on. All right, later in the story, we meet Jack Napier. Jack Napier is the second in command of uh, Grissom. Grissom is a crime lord, drug dealing boss who's just old. And basically, Napier, Napier's been hitting on his hot wife. His wife, his uh, his wife is pretty damn hot. So Napier's been hitting on him. And uh, Grissom knows this. Grissom knows this. Like, okay, this young buck's been hitting on my wife. All right, so. What Grissom does, he sends uh, Jack to the uh, Axis Chemical Factory to uh, raid the place to get some stuff. But as he does that, Napier tips off the police, the Gotham police, or not Napier, um, Grissom, Grissom tips off uh, the police to let them know, like, yo, the chemical factory has been, um, been broke into, so y'all need to get down there. So the police get down there uh, and... Napier or uh, Jack, he uh he realizes like, oh snap, I just been set up, all right, I just been set up. So Batman comes during this time. Batman comes, he fights off all the henchmen and stuff. He sees Jack, he tries to get Jack. Jack uh ends up falling into uh some chemicals, and Batman leaves him because Batman thinks, oh shit, he oh, he's already dead. So I ain't got nothing to do with that. Batman leaves. Uh, but look till you know that um. Jack ain't dead. Jack's a survivor. Oh yeah, he a survivor. Jack is a survivor. All right, when Jack uh gets out the chemical, he finds his face all deformed. Deformed into like uh, a smile. I can't do the smile, but hmm 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 yeah yeah no okay. But he finds himself uh, into a smile. Um. And it basically drives him crazy. He basically goes insane. Like he tries to see if he can get it fixed. He can't get that shit fixed. His face is fucked up for life. And it drives him crazy and stuff. And then uh, that's when he becomes the Joker. You know, he puts on the makeup. He puts on the 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 lipstick. Uh, he, he gets the the suit. And he he um he chooses this identity of the Joker. First thing he does, uh, first thing Jack does when he, uh, when he turns into the Joker, he takes out the old guy. He takes out the old guy, girl, and says, yo, you got to go, all right? I'm going to have to shoot you, so no hard feelings, but I'm going to have to shoot you. You got to go. I'm sorry. And he lights his ass up. Uh, Joker lights Grissom's ass up with that gun. So Joker meets uh, Vicky Vale. Uh, who's basically Bruce's kind of girl now. Joker meets her and he basically falls in love with her. He gets, you know, like, he doesn't really fall in love. He gets like that creepy obsession that uh that old guy look. You know how them old them old motherfuckers be looking when you like try to get the paper and you got on some shorts and it's hot outside and you got no shirt on and they be staring at you. They be glaring at you. Yeah, all right. People, people know what I'm talking. About. All right, so now uh, Joker is basically taking the city, uh, making the city go in chaos. 
because he he's uh put the chemicals in uh that made his face like that into everyday products like soap, hand uh face cream and stuff like that, and it's with a combination of laughing gas and stuff that uh laughs people to death and it gives them the grin of uh the jokers. So now Batman's like, okay, I need to find this motherfucker now. This man is uh, making people go crazy, so I need to find him. And because he, not only does he need to find him, Joker's now become obsessed with uh, Vicky Vale's hot ass. And uh, Batman's like, okay, now now this motherfucker's taking too much. He he making everybody do all this, and he then took my girl. But on top of that, uh, Batman finds out that Joker was the guy that killed his parents. So this nigga is struck out three times in a matter of four minutes. And, you know, Batman ain't having that. So, Batman is going to look for this motherfucker. And he's going out with Avengers. Because Batman's like, okay, you know what? This is what, this is what I've been waiting for all along. This is what I've been waiting for. I, this is what I've been training my ass off for. This is the reason I, I became a crime fighter. This is the reason I'm the Batman. To come look for the person who avenged my uh, parents. I know who he is. So, I'm looking for your ass, boy. Batman's been there just to stop him. Like, yo. You need to quit this shit. Like, yo, I'm the Dark Knight. You need to sit that shit down, all right? And um, Batman keeps, like, getting them and keeps, uh, basically keeps uh, stopping them from uh, succeeding. So uh, Joker's like, okay, this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to uh, basically tell people, like, yo, Batman needs to show his face. Y'all all seen my face. I'm going to be dropping money down on the parade. I'm about to throw some bucks down on this parade. You come see me, I'm going to throw money, so you know I, I'm the real deal, and Batman's the one doing all this stuff. Not me, Batman's doing all this stuff. And he tells like, yo, come down. If you if you ain't scared, Batman, come down. I'm going to be giving away money. What you going to be doing? Coming in there with your all-black suit, doing nothing? We can't even see, because it, it's always dark in Gotham. So, nigga, we can't see. You need to put on like a, a bright yellow suit or something, because we can't see. They can see me, but we can't see you. Batman, yeah, Batman still got a lot of work to do. So he finds uh, that Joker's the run off with Vicky in uh, the Gotham Tower Bell. And uh, Batman goes chasing after his ass. Uh, and there's some long ass steps up there, man. Batman should just use his grapple because he was walking up there, taking that beating from all these, all Joker's henchmen. Batman was getting his ass hooked. But you know, Batman, he don't give up. So he don't give up. So for finally, Batman gets up, gets up to uh, the top of the tower where Joker is, and he's got Vicky Vale, and they, you know, they go square off, and they got a good comment, like, "Yo, you made me, and I, I made you, so let's go at it, all right? You killed my parents, I made you into like uh, this ugly faced clown guy, so we need to go at it, and um, they go at it, and." They they end up finding themselves over the ledge, like literally over the ledge on, and uh, Batman, Vicky Vale are on the ledge. Joker's about to get him. Joker's about to get him. He starts knocking down the uh, the brick so they can fall, and um, Joker's got the helicopter waiting on him so he can leave. But you know, Batman got all these gadgets. Joker must don't know. Batman got all these gadgets. So Batman uh uses the grapple hook to uh. To get the Joker while he's on the uh, while he's on the on the helicopter, and Joker falls to his death. Batman starts to fall, but you know Batman's got the grappler. <laughs> Batman saves the day, gets the girl. What more can you ask for? All right, what more can you ask for? All right, the reason I love uh, the first uh, Batman uh, movie with Tim Burton is because the way Tim Burton shot everything, everything was real dark, but it still stayed true to the comic book form. Like, you had, it wasn't like the Christopher Nolan that comes in, like, the future, but, you know, it still it still stayed true to, to, um, to the comic books. You know, you got the outrageous, goofy, but scary Joker. Uh, you got the dark city, the good characters, um... Now I don't know in the comic books if uh Harvey Dent was black, but you know, hey, I can deal with uh I can deal with a black Harvey Dent if he's Billy D. Williams, cause that Billy Billy D. Williams can make anything sound good. Any, have you heard his voice? His voice is like chocolate in your ear. All right, yeah, just think about that. No, just think about it. chocolate in your ear. Just think about it.
right. But yeah, um, I love this movie. It was, I, if I would give it a, a, some stars, if I would rate it out of five stars, I would probably give it a four and a half stars. Yep, four and a half stars. Great movie. It's a timeless, uh, timeless movie. I think if you haven't seen it, then you're stupid. Then you need to see it. All right. But um, that's it for this episode. I'm about to do uh, the second part, uh, the next, uh, the next installment to Batman. So I think that's Batman Returns. Yep. I don't think I know. It's Batman Returns. So look out for that. All right. This is the Cirque Show 24/7. Bam. Peace out.